gray place cards again with the tasteful Cabot logo. I see Venetian stemware on white damask. Mrs. Uh, architectonic fruit compost featuring raspberries and papaya. And, oh, where are you going to have your honeymoon? Oh, Cincinnati. Yeah, we're looking forward to trying the three-way chili. <laughs> How amusing. May I interpose? South of France. Cap Dantige or Cap Carras. Mrs. Hammersmith. Yes? One thing that, that I would like to take care of right away. I would like the bridesmaid, the maid of honor, Cecily, to, to look really special. Well, not too special. What? Well, you don't want the bridesmaid to outshine the bride. Well, I don't think Rosanna has to worry about that. Oh, well, I've seen it happen, believe me. I mean, I always advise my bride. Mrs. Hammersmith. Uh, yes. <laughs> I would like everyone in the wedding party to look good, okay? And uh, <clears throat> another thing that I was thinking is I would like, I would like, I would like pink flowers. Hey, that's pink. I, I like uh, pink tea roses. And so, but that's going to change everything. everything. Uh, well, all right, you are Rosanna Cabot. Money is no object. We'll just have to start all over again. All right, um, uh, cake's out. Uh, <laughs> maybe this is going to be... Uh, Miss Hammersmith, this, this is not working. My dear? Uh, well, well, you, you're starting to freak out here, and I think we ought to just, uh... Yeah. You know what? We're going to forget this. Yeah. Forget what? This is... This is... Just one big mistake. Just okay, one big mistake. I really did not have anything like this in mind. Well, you didn't have anything in mind when I arrived. We agreed on contemporary elegance. Do you want to change now to maybe modern, young, modern or something? No. I think this is where you better go. Look, I, I, I brought all my samples. I brought all my, my demonstration models. I can't tell what do you want at all. For what? For, for, for all of it. For all, all this well, junk. Well, Here, how much you want for it? I'll pay for it. Well, I'll give well. you everything. Just worth my checkbook. Tell me, you know, I've got the money. I've got all the money in the world, don't I? You know that I do. So you just tell me how much I have to give you for you to get out of here and stop talking about my wedding. How much? What? What? What was I thinking of calling that woman? She was an idiot. Look, she's gone. No harm done. I just, I thought that it would make things easier, you know? I just got so panicked about all the stuff that there is to do. It just kind of hit me. I mean, my parents are gone. Who do I turn to for all this? Did we not? <laughs> Julia Hammersmith. Row, like, row, row. I don't no, want no, two bows. It just didn't work out. That's and all. what is wrong with pink roses? What's wrong with my hair? My hair. Uh, nothing. No, it's beautiful. Well, I just told Mrs. Hammer's head. Doesn't go to one of the tabloids with this. Oh, God, I mean, she can help that. She won't. Now, come on, Ro, come on, come on. Just, just, you know, you don't need this wedding person, okay? This is not the Normandy invasion. Yeah. We will you know work it out. The problem is, is that I don't know what I want. I thought I knew what I want. You know, I thought I had it all figured out until Mrs. The Hammer Smith came in here and... I'm like, all I want is for our wedding to mean something. It will. It will. Let's just, we forget about her, all right? Forget about it. We can have whatever we want. Pick me off. No, we'll look at it this way. What? We, we've got uh, stuff that we never had before. We can work with that. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't want you dissing Miss Hammer, uh, Hammer, Hammer Face. You know? She had some good ideas. Yeah. You know, and you know, I think, I think, I think I could work with this, this teal cummerbund. You know? I know, I know a stock car racer who had a car the same color. Yeah, it is stunning. You know, I, I see appetizers. No! I see ice cold beer. I see these fruit compotes done same things like that tonight with, with featuring bananas with little pierced pretzels just laying down in warm peanut butter. <laughs> you know, and I see I see appetizers. No, no, I hear crunching and I hear chips. Chips. <laughs> oh man, I see it all, baby. Come here. Work with me. No, work with me. Do you see I'm it? Oh, you. do you see it? You know. We've got horsey dovers now, baby, don't you know? Yeah. We've got great horsey dovers. Yes. Mike, I love you. Hmm. <laughs> right, well, 
Well, what do you think, Carly? Where do you think we should have the wedding? Uh, we got we could have it at the church in Lisa's corner, so we could have it at the farm, or if you can believe it, Connor and Cal got married in the barn. I can believe it. It was kind of last minute, but it all worked out pretty well. Mike and I helped Cal set it up, didn't we? We had a ball. Oh, so I could have been there. Oh, don't forget, you, you've got the priest to do the honors. The one Mike met in prison. That's right. We have honor, Ivan. Nice way to kick off a marriage. In a barn with a prison chaplain. You better get that wedding consultant back here. <laughs> now it's time for a cold beer. Oh. Gee. Ah, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not much help at this. Oh, Rosanna, I forgot. That got the spy for you. What is it? Well, he put together a, a plan for another ambulance program in another town. Oh. He sounded really excited about it. Oh, well. That's really nice of him. I'll, I'll discuss it with Mike. Why? Why? Because it was Mike's idea in the first place, and I wanted his opinion. He's the one who started the ambulance service in Mill County. Rosanna, Scott went to Yale Law School. And right now, he's running worldwide enterprises. And let's face it, Mike! Go ahead. I, I just don't think he's qualified to make a decision about Scott's work. You know, Carly... I've really had it with you. What? You heard me. Susanna, I... I know how you feel about Mike. I know how you feel about us getting married. I just thought that you cared enough about me to try to support me and to want me to be happy right now. I do. You know, Carly, I have done everything I could to try to include you in these wedding plans. But it's been obvious to me that you want nothing to do with it. All you've done here today is just bring us down and take cheap shots at my life. I was joking. You're all the happiest time of my life, Carly. I don't want you to spoil it. I don't want that either. I, I really want you to be happy. You know, Carly, if, if this is your wedding and if it was you getting married, I would be doing everything I could to support you, to try to get you through the rough spot. I know. I'm, I'm sorry about today. I've just been a little...